Welcome to Busy Minds Tutorials and Entertainment. Today we want to learn how to open our website in a local server called ZAMP. As you can see on my screen here, I already installed ZAMP, so you have to do that. So if you want to install ZAMP, you just have to go to Google and search for Apache Friends. You see the link on Google, then you click on it and download it on your computer. So I already have it installed on my computer. So the first thing you want to do if you have your website and you want to open it in in, in this look and the reason you want to open you want to install on your computer is because you may want to work with some programming languages like PHP and the JavaScript and the rest of them. All these programming languages they cannot open without if they are not in a in server environment. So you have to install the server. Is that you have uh, an online uh, web host like a remote server where you pay like you register with GoDaddy and all that if you don't have that you can install the local server so that when you you create your website with programming languages like PHP you can view them while creating it but if you don't have the local server and you also don't have a remote server where you can upload a file before you open it in your browser then you cannot view those your document that you have created with those uh, server side languages like PHP. So that's the reason you have to install ZAMP, which is a local server for a Windows PC and all that. So I already have it installed. So let's jump right into the tutorial now. I already have it. So the first thing you want to do if, if you already have your website and this is my website folder. This is my browser Google Chrome and all that. So the first thing you want to do is to click on the control panel of your local server with the ZAM. This is my control panel now, so I double click it to open it. So you can see it's already open. The, the, the first thing you wanna do is, is to come here, you set a start button that is beside Apache, so you, you click it to start it. You also come to SQL, click the start button beside it, you can see. So you've opened this to now, so that's, that's all you need. If you just wanna view your website, that's all you need. So I have started it already, so I'll, I'll minimize it now. So the, the only thing you want to do now is if is to copy. This is my website folder. Let me open it. These are my files inside my website. My website folder. Yes. So you have to copy this your website folder. Copy the folder and put it inside the folder where you installed. You have to copy it and put it inside uh, the ZAMP folder. So you let's let's do that now. Let's copy. You write you now. You right click on this. You say copy. Then let's go to this folder. So to do that, I'll go into my PC. My PC. You click on it. You can see. So you come down to look at disk. Then you now look for where you find ZAMP. You can see I have ZAMP here. So click on ZAMP to open it. Then look for the folder called ht docs so you can see you can see my ht docs you open it this is where we are going to uh, paste our website we are going to paste the, this website folder that we copied we are going to paste it into this place so that when we open the website it will open this our uh, control panel will see it and open it so now that we're inside the ht docs folder now so let's paste this website that we have copied you no know, we have already copied it so just go to the empty space here right click and you say paste so the website is now pasting into the htdoc uh, folder you can see it is going now so when it's finished pasting you can now go to your browser and type in this the name of your folder your website folder and your website will open so now you can see it's here. You can see it here now. Okay, let's minimize this. Now that we have done this, let's go to our browser. Now our website is inside our local our local server folder now. But if you don't um, paste it, I mean, if you don't copy and paste it into this folder, there's no way it will open because it's the the the, um, the local server is not. It's not seeing your website, so you have to copy your website, all the files, and in most cases, it, it's the folder. Copy the whole folder into this place, which we just did. 
by going into your the PC, you come to local, then you look for the ZAM, this is a ZAM folder, then you look for htdocs, you open it, then you now paste, which we have done, we have pasted it. So the last step now is to open your your, your browser, which is Google Chrome. Now, our Chrome has opened, so let's create a new tab. Now let's type in, you have to type the name of that folder, but first, before you type in the name of that, your website folder, which is 2020 website, you have to type in local host forward slash 2020 web okay let's give it a space 2020 web site you remember this is the name of our website folder so after you you type in local host you now say 2020 website now that you finish typing that just hit enter on your keyboard you can see the website has opened look at our website now it's as easy as that it's as easy as that you can see our website it has opened so now you're viewing your website through uh, um, your local server which you have installed on your computer if you have PHP those are server side languages you you've, you've used to build your website because the the folder now your website folder is inside the local server everything will work everything will begin to display but if you're not viewing your website which you have built or designed with the php uh, programming language it means you cannot view it because it must the the programming languages like php must be inside uh, a server environment for you to view it or to, to, to see it. So now that we have our website there inside our server, you can begin to you know go to your your you can begin to go and all that. So that's how you basically uh, you know view your website in your local server. So thank you very much for for staying with us today.